We wanted to have a look and see whether the gut microbiome was specifically involved in causing the diarrhoea and whether an alteration in the commensal bacteria and the pathogenic bacteria was responsible for this diarrhoea. And so what we did was recruit a number of patients who were hospitalised due to their chemotherapy induced diarrhoea and we obtained a stool sample and with that stool sample what we found was that there was a clear differentiation between those um, commensal bacteria and the pathogenic bacteria. We had huge numbers of pathogenic bacteria. And so what that actually showed us was that the chemotherapy was altering the gut microbiome. And this was a study that was really the first study which clearly showed that chemotherapy was altering the gut microbiome. And that really allowed us to start to target specific treatments and specific investigations to look at that gut microbiome. What we think is going on is that the chemotherapy is coming in and what it's doing is it's wiping out the commensal bacteria. And as it wipes out the commensal bacteria, it's allowing the pathogenic bacteria to come in, colonise the gut, and this is causing some of the symptoms that these patients are experiencing. We think it's a secretory diarrhoea, um, but our lab is ongoing investigations with that. What we are now investigating is the role of the innate immune receptor, the toll-like receptor 4. And so with that um, pathogenic bacteria, we know that that activates LPS, and LPS obviously is responsible with these pathogenic bacteria. There's a number of drugs on the market which are targeting TLR4, and if we can provide a, a target, a, a drug to inhibit TLR4, hopefully we can stop those um, pathogenic bacteria binding and reduce that toxicity. And that's what we have studies undergoing in our lab at the moment. The studies are really promising. Um, we have some studies on, ongoing in our lab. We're moving into clinical studies, hopefully in the next 12 months with this. Certainly TLR4 is already approved in a form of um, naloxone, which is already approved for pain relief in the clinic. So if we show in our early studies, it should be a really rapid um, translation into the clinics. TLR4 is probably has the best amount of data behind it that I've seen in my nearly 20 years in this field. The data is, is strong. It's strong on a number of fronts in cell culture, in preclinical animal models and in those early clinical studies. So I'm really excited that this is a really key driver and is something that we can really continue to push forward with. More excitedly, it's already used in the clinic in a range of other studies. So when we target TLR4, it's already had some safety efficacy studies. So we're not targeting something that we then need to prove safety in patients. It's already used in clinical studies. So that for me is a really exciting way forward. So we've already, we're already halfway there. So I'm really excited about it.